Hello my soccer universe with another what to watch and yeah I probably will not be able to post a Hall of Fame induction this uh, weekend or well, let's see how it goes. I have to space out my time because there's lots of soccer to watch and I have other duties as well uh, so yeah. We have four leagues to talk about. Yes, uh, this is now a beginning of June where lots of leagues come back and I think I will also spend a lot of work preparing now the uh, files where I make my graphs for uh, La Liga, Premier League and Serie A and then we'll slowly add others that uh, might be of interest. But um, while we are talking about four leagues uh, in Germany, everything are makeup games, and that's where we start in the Bundesliga. Around uh, 24, it was. This was um, the second to last round before everything got cancelled. No one had any idea of what's going to happen at that time. And the makeup game is Werder Bremen against Eintracht Frankfurt, and that game is n was not cancelled because um, of Corona. No. Remember there was the Europa League tie between Salzburg and Frankfurt with the huge storm calm coming in that evening. Lusk, I'm wearing it because Austria will come back. Lusk won against Alkmaar and then the Salzburg game was already cancelled because of that storm and then everything had to be rescheduled. The game for Salzburg, uh, Salzburg Frankfurt was a day later and then the weekend game for Werder Bremen Frankfurt just got postponed indefinitely and now it is played this Wednesday and it's a pretty huge game for especially Werder Bremen because if they can win they actually will get um, out of their um, relegation spots and for Frankfurt yeah I think every point at the moment counts to get a form both teams are actually collecting some form so it will be interesting to see given how harmful advantage doesn't count for much these days Let's see where this will go. So this is in the Bundesliga, in the second Bundesliga, Dinamo Dresden joins in. Uh, this was actually from the first round uh, that was played after Corona, where we had those crazy results, uh, Stuttgart losing and both Bielefeld and Hamburg not winning. And now it's Hannover against Dresden. Um, yeah, Dinamo Dresden has three games to make up. They will have a pretty tough schedule, so let's hope everything will be fine. Now the next league that I'm going to talk about is a league that's going to start up again and that's the Liga Nosh uh, from Portugal and let's remind ourselves about the standings before we look at, uh, into what's going on. It's a pretty, pretty clear cut when it comes for who's qualifying for the Champions League because Porto and Benfica are definitely going to be in there. Um, Benfica currently one point behind Porto, I remember before we had all this everything cancelled, Benfica had a bit of a slide, they're now one point behind Porto, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting uh, there. The Europa League spots is also kind of uh, Braga and Sporting I think look good and then for this last uh, qualification spot there's also the cup final playing in there, so that's why it's not a uh, sure uh, done deal, but for that fifth spot I think we have a three horse race between Rio Ava Guimaraes and Family Cow. Uh, I usually don't talk about relegation there, but yeah, uh, Avesh doesn't look good and also Portimonense is kind of on the bottom of things. So let's see the games and you will see the Liga Nosh results also in my next what to watch because Liga Nosh decide, yeah, Wednesday through Sunday we'll play that round. Uh, and it's pretty big, but we'll have the big boys on Wednesday, uh, Family Cao against Porto, that was a much bigger game the first time it was played, and then on Thursday Benfica against Tondela, uh, we also have Thursday Guimaraes Sporting's probably the big pick of the bunch, so those are the games to look forward there. And then, and that's why I'm wearing Lask, Austrian Bundesliga is also back and again let's remind ourselves, um, here on the bottom are the final standings, we have a two-phase championship in Austria and I keep hating on it on this uh, mode because uh, everyone played everyone so we have uh, a proper table and then it's split and then you don't take the points uh, that you made against the teams that you qualify for the phase for no we cut the points in half so if you first you get the biggest punishment um, it does not seem fair so with that now uh, on top are the current standings including a six point deduction on Lusk and yes I'm a Lusk fan, I will remain a Lusk fan, yes they did something wrong, yes they get punished, they should be punished for it, I made a lengthy video about it but it will not change my um, 
fandom. I have to say the percentage here is what I kind of deduct if it's not not uh, directly from 538, but uh, given the six point deduction for Lusk, Lusk is three point behind Salzburg, meaning Salzburg is clear. And it seems to be a tight race for the second Champions League spot uh, as for now. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be interesting. If we also look at the bottom half uh, for relegation, it's a really tight race. There are four teams now really, really, really close together. They've already before they cut very close together, but now they're within one point and not only within two points. Um, also the top spot of that, the seventh spot, will qualify for the Europa League playoff. And given that Salzburg won the cup, we already know that uh, the third and fourth place team will be in the will be in the other no probably not they will also get into this playoff it's it's a whole whole lot, lot of mess i actually think it will be that the eighth place team now seven against eight i have to look this up the graphics are here not i think it's the seven against eight and then they play um against the fifth place team the sixth place team is the one that cannot go to europe talk about crazy anyway let's look at the games that will be happening um uh, during the week. Um, the um, relegation playoff is uh, first on Tuesday. <sighs> Nothing really exciting to be honest. I that Austria win is the big boy in there and yeah um, they should win easily against Admira and I have to say that for Wednesday when the championship uh, playoff is Lask got a really easy draw to start against Hartberg at home which is a must three points. Graz against uh, Sturm against Wolfsberg. And by the way, note it's Wolfsberg. Wolfsberg is that it is from Wolfsberg. This is what I hate. They should say in all this English that Wolfsberg or W A C, W A C, Wolfsberg, not Wolfsberger. I just hate it when this comes. But I see it also for other uh, teams. So. Um, that's actually not a bad game because they're kind of close to each other. There's a rivalry a little bit there and yeah, it's probably something that Sturm needs to win if they really want to make a push for Europe. And then the big one is uh, first against third. I, I was about to say second against third, but now it's first against third. The nice guys. The two teams that I hate most in Austria. Easily. Salzburg against Rapid, but it's a huge game and that is the one that takes top spot there and will be interesting to watch. So that's what it's for the midweek. I think the German games are really nice and then let's see. Um, I will surely watch Lask. I don't know if I will watch either Salzburg Rapid or Frankfurt uh, at Bremen. Let's see where it goes. Let me know what you'll be watching in the midweek or if you'll be watching. I'm more excited about the midweek than what I was for this weekend. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.